It is the final week of summer, although most retail stores skip straight to pumpkin season a few weeks ago. Deny it all you want, but the back to school grind is here which means notebooks, packed community college parking lots, and a handful of new instructors trying to make you care about the war of 1812 and the differences between Descartes and Kant. Helpful tip, don't let your teacher see you smirk every time she says can't. If you're lucky, your worst instructor will just have a cantankerous attitude and wear dated sweaters, and with any luck, you won't have tutors as terrible as the ones on this list. Deku Yashiro, erased, Mr. Yashiro seemed like an okay guy. He took an active interest in helping his time-traveling student Satoru save Keo Hinazuki from the abuse of her mother, and Keo wasn't the only potential victim during that year in Hokkaido. In fact, several other elementary school kids had disappeared, and it's not until Satoru begins investigating that the Mr. Yashiro's mask starts slipping to reveal a sadistic predator underneath. There's no real rhyme or reason behind his motivation to kill children. The manga gives him more comprehensive motivation, explaining Gaku's relationship with his abusive older brother, but apparently just witnessing a hamster's struggle to survive drowning causes him to finally snap. Akane Minagawa, Scum's Wish, this beautiful music teacher is a complicated nut to crack and while the series spends a fair amount of time analyzing the psyche behind why Akane is an awful human being, the short version is that her need for control over her life is tied to how she perceives her self-worth through the attention of men. She actively manipulates the trust of those around her to harm her own students and men who are attracted to her. She lacks sincere romantic interest in Narumi Kanai, but she knows that Hanabi Yasuraka loves him which is a good enough reason to date him so she can rub it in the girl's face. She simultaneously enjoys stringing along her student Muji away while being intimidated by his acceptance of the ugliness under her facade. Mr. Takuchi, a silent voice, ideally, a teacher should have a child's back when bullying takes place, but tragically, that that isn't always the case. The homeroom teacher at Shoya's elementary school takes things a step further by turning a blind eye when classmates begin tormenting the new transfer student Shoko, who is deaf. Mr. Takuchi is unsympathetic when Shoko's expensive hearing aid is tossed in the school pond and sees her academic needs as a burden on the rest of the class. When the truth of her bullying comes to light, he's quick to absolve himself of all responsibility, instead motivating the class to turn on Shoya for instigating the bullying they all participated in. Koichi Shido, High School of the Dead, in Shida's defense, seeing the world suddenly get overrun by zombies is a uniquely terrifying situation so he's hardly the only person to adopt an every-man-for-himself approach. That said, there's definitely a line between ruthless self-preservation and actively sacrificing your students to a cannibalistic mob. Shido takes the world's extreme circumstances to turn his philosophy of survival of the fittest into a student cult that he hopes to rule over. Ultimately, Shid is an insecure man full of hatred from living in his father's shadow. The elder Shido is a powerful politician, and his son wants nothing more than to succeed him, even if it means brainwashing a bunch of terrified kids. Gaka Asano, Assassination Classroom, the idea of classes separated by academic achievement isn't new. There's plenty of anime and manga that play with this idea, like Eat a Kiss. Special A, and Baka and Tess to name a few. Rarely, however, is the lower class treated as poorly as the delinquents in assassination classroom, all thanks to former teacher and principal Gaka Asano. Calm and collected, 
Mr. Asano is instrumental in coming up with the Class E system that ships underachievers off to a dilapidated building to ensure that they're ostracized by their peers, all in the name of motivating the rest of the student population. He's a proponent of social eugenics and even fixes the school's academic system to make sure there's always a group the rest can kick around. Yoshiyuki Tarada K. Homizuki, Card Captor Sakura, Mr. Tarada and Ms. Mizuki are another variation on Mr. Kimura, except they aren't played for laughs. The character's creation was a misguided attempt by Clamp to build on the show's theme of different kinds of love, which apparently meant blazing over two teacher-student relationships, Tuya and K. Homizuki when she was his middle school teacher and Tarada's engagement to 10-year-old Rika Sasaki. Tarada is in his mid-30s, and as much as I'd want to believe this is some leftover example of arranged marriages for prestige or business reasons, it's not. Tarada is blushy and gushy over his child bride, and Keho only broke things off with her 13-year-old boyfriend because she had college aspirations. Kimura, a Zumanga Deo, a self-proclaimed pervert, Mr. Kimura serves as a source of awkward comedic relief. His face is sunken and worn presumably from a career of disappointment that he cannot legally shack up with his pupils. His favorite period is swim class for all the reprehensible reasons you can imagine. The cast is surprised to find out that Kimura is not a lonesome bachelor, but the husband of an attractive wife and father of an elementary-aged girl. What's most amazing about Kimura is that he still has a job at all. This guy isn't attempting to fool anyone about his motives for teaching high school. Thanks for watching my video. Have a nice day.